University life isn't just the subject matter of the degree, it's people and places. Now, at the end of three or four years, the associations with the University of Essex will become cherished memories. So, let's have one last look at the sites and associations that make up Essex. And the town of Colchester, the Norman Castle, constructed in the main from materials such as septaria left lying around after the destruction of the Roman buildings. The town hall, an expression of Victorian civic pride, topped by a statue of St Helena, although actually said to be a spare Madonna donated by an Italian architect. The Culver Street precinct is perhaps most famous for a fountain that its owners are reluctant to let you photograph, and paving stones that are difficult to walk on. Back to the university, designed by an architect who wanted to bring the atmosphere of a small Italian town with its piazzas to an Essex hillside. There is a logical plan, but it's only apparent when you get up into an aeroplane. Modern additions, such as the new accommodation units, the bookshop and the art gallery, all fit in well into the original concept. The university was built on a concrete platform over the valley floor, so that all the services can be brought in unobtrusively underneath. When you come back in a few years, we hope we'll have a worthy frontage now for you to see. Sometimes it's good to escape into the park, perhaps to meet someone, to be with someone, or to be alone perhaps to consider the future of the world. If it's company you want, there's the university bar, the union bar, or the coffee bar. They're all near at hand, as well as shops, banks, the post office, and advice on your future career. Everybody gets to the Vice-Chancellor's house, but it's there, hidden at the top of the lakes, surrounded by trees and rhododendrons. And there's Wivenhoe House, where the university began, opening its doors in 1964. Now it's conference delegates, rather than students, who enjoy its hospitality. But they're all very welcome bringing, as they do, much-needed income to the university as they enjoy the facilities of this popular conference centre. <laughs> and then, the towers home to a third of the students at any one time. And more than just home. Remember the parties, the fire bells, the dramatic sunsets, the hi-fis. Wivenhoe, home to many staff and students, is also a port, a fact not known by many perhaps because it's timber imports rather than continental ferries that are its source of income. The campus, in its 200 acres of parkland, is distinctive architecturally the dark towers contrasting with white or light-coloured academic buildings, the glass of the library mirrored in the waters of the lakes. But the place where it all began at the university for most students, in a formal sense at least, is in the lecture theatre block, designed by architect Mr Cadbury Brown. Today's big occasion is the degree ceremony. As a graduate now of the University of Essex, we hope you'll enjoy this reminder of the ceremony where you finally got that well-earned degree on this day of celebration.
Vice-Chancellor, graduands, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege as Chancellor of the University, on behalf of the University, to extend the warmest welcome to you all at this first degree congregation of 1992. Some of those graduating have come from countries overseas to study at this university. Some of the families, I'm sure, have come quite a distance, perhaps starting very early, to be here today. To you all, this is, I'm sure, a red letter day. A red letter day for those and their families who are receiving degrees and especially for those who have achieved their doctorate or other postgraduate qualifications, been hard to come by, and a yet higher level of research grants. And now, for this university, a firmly established reputation for the quality of its teaching and research. <coughs> Professor Harris is to be succeeded by Professor Ron Johnston from Sheffield University, who we're all very confident will build effectively on present policies and recent achievements. I'm sure that, at least from time to time, all of you who are graduating will have faced personal problems and difficulties here. But I hope that as you leave the university, you will recognize that you have been a student here in some of Essex's very best days. And I hope that you will return here when you can. However far away across the world you may be in your lives and careers, I would strongly urge you to keep in touch. As I trust you already know, the way to do so is to join Convocation, a membership, I might add, that is automatically open to honorary graduates. And there are, I've just seen a copy myself, a new magazine, Square One, which you will all have seen, I'm sure, which gives details. And this will enable you to sustain a link with your own university for the rest of your life. Chancellor, I present to you candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in the School of Social Sciences for conferment of the degree to which they are entitled. I confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Arts. The following candidates are present. Maud Adam Abu Hassan. <laughs> Nama Amin Khalil Arawi. <laughs> Sandra. Spirit on here, Terrace. Dave. <laughs> Eleni Pizzolidu. <laughs> Rosemary Ann Potter, awarded the Pete Mark or <coughs> McClintock Prize 1991, Royal London Prize 1991. <laughs> Tao Chung. Dodo Cheng. <laughs> Gavriel Christoforou. <laughs> Simon Thomas Cook. <laughs> Richard David Neil Dawson. Jamie John Adams. <laughs> Nick Rennie Hartman. <laughs> Lee <A> Ash. <laughs> Philip Roger Jacovides. <laughs> Constantly Tinos Joanides. 
filio mitidu. <laughs> Kevin New Maria Nicola Kaki. <laughs> Pavlos Papa Christos. <laughs> Ritan Kumar Singh. <laughs> Craig J. Kwok Wang Ng. David <laughs> Harris. Yeah. Hugh Morgan Griffiths <laughs> and Ju Yasumitsu Iwaza <laughs> Maria Alice Kotsamanis Colin, the Collet C. Cork. <laughs> Linda Claire Dicker. <laughs> Mark Daniel Goodfellow. <laughs> Alkarani Nichawan. Henry Stephen Johannes <coughs> Terwent. <laughs> Lynette Sleeth. Colin Stephen Cripps. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Margaret Freeman. <laughs> Philip David Howarth. <laughs> Gwendolyn Rebecca Manning. Julian Francis William Pratt. <laughs> Guy Thomas. <laughs> Jane Williamson. <laughs> Susanna Helen York. <laughs> Felix Afuevu Ojugu. Darren Arco, Adam Richard Ely, <laughs> Rob, Linda Ann Harris, <laughs> Victoria Louise Harrison, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I declare this congregation closed. Thank you.